Hello and welcome to Budget Zero. Today I'll be showing you how to turn your phone into a second monitor or a second screen. So if you're interested in turning your phone into various computer components such as turning your phone into a webcam, a mouse, a keyboard, a speaker, you can find it link in description or here at the cards above. The software we'll be using is called Space Desk. Space in terms of like our childhood dream that we all want to go to the space and desk is the way we all can find in the school. First of all, we need a primary machine where we download the software. So it can be a Windows laptop, but unfortunately it can't be a Mac OS because the security is way too tight and it is not as flexible as a Windows laptop. And we need another secondary machine, the machine which is your phone that we are going to um, connect your primary machine, which is your laptop to. So if you think your phone is too small to be a monitor screen, you can actually use an iPad or an Android tablet, which is bigger screen and yeah, it is more flexible as long as you can download the Space Desk app. As usual, go to your Play Store or App Store or whatever store that you have and download Play Desk or Space Desk. So like this, spells like this. So just search it up and as you can see it is this app this icon so just install and open it and right now we'll be going to our laptop or computer to download the software to connect it to your phone so in your laptop you need to go to spacedesk.net so as you can see it is a layout something like this so as you can see there's a primary machine which is your computer laptop it must be windows and it connects to your local area network, meaning it must be in the same network. So if you're using Wi-Fi to connect, you need to use Wi-Fi. It is able to connect via Bluetooth, Um, no, sorry, USB as well, but you need to use USB debugging and you need to watch um, my other video for more information. And then you have these secondary machines, which is your Android phone, your iPad, your uh, Apple phones, and so on. And then you need to scroll down to download the drivers or software so go to downloads and then download for normally we download with 64 windows 10 64 bit but if you have windows 8 download that so once you download and install the software and you require some firewall exception so you just beware of that and once you install it you won't see it appear in your desktop screen for some reason it's supposed to be there but anyways, you can also search for the app called Space Desk. So this is the Space Desk server app. So just click on it and you will see something like this. Alright, I've already switched my camera so that you can see everything that I'm doing in my point of view. As you can see, this is the software that you open and downloaded. And this is the app that I've already opened it. And as you can see, it does not detect any primary machines, which is my laptop. So what you're going to do first is go to the connections right here this tiny little button and you can see that the status is off so just click turn it on so it should automatically um, find my laptop if not just class it and add your IP address but most of the time it can but most of the time it can automate detect my laptop so just click on it so once you click on it it will immediately connect so you can as you can see it is already connected it can be in landscape mode or portrait mode as you can see so for just for example i just pull up my google chrome right here and this is my extended screen so it's an extra screen so i can just move it here you see do you see that do you see that do you see that so i just move it right here and then put it up and boom as you can see, it is right now your second screen. But no worries if you want to have like, you want to adjust its um, settings or something, you can come back to your monitor right here, your software, and then you click on, you can choose go display settings. And then you can see that right now I have three monitors because I have another one setting up right here. So this is my main monitor. So you can see that this is my phone is my third month and you can change the resolution of it as you can see if you change on it you can immediately change it to the right 
the right um, resolution. I'm not gonna lie that the software is a bit glitchy, not a bit, but it's quite glitchy in terms of you might need to restart your whole laptop or sometimes you need to reinstall your space desk driver so that it can work well or you might want to see the settings of your firewall. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like and subscribe for more future Budget Zero videos. And I would like to announce a really huge milestone that is going to be coming up in a few weeks or so that I'll be hitting 10,000 subscribers and I would like to celebrate it by doing a Q&A video, a special Q&A video. So I would like to you guys to comment any questions that you have for me in my Instagram, Facebook or write down in the comments and I'll be answering them in my video. So I hope I'll see you again next time and Budget Zero, peace out!